Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a checklist tutorial to show you guys how to make something similar like this. And once you guys know the basics of creating something like this, you can then play around and create you know something a lot fancier than this so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to want to do is get the sizings for whatever size of sticker you want to make whether it's for the Erin Condren or the Happy Planner so I will be making this to fit the Happy Planner and so let me just explain to you guys the sizing usually when I create mine I like to create it to fit the whole box including the little header up here so it would be the 2.5 plus the additional 0.25 inches up here so let's go ahead and create that so we're going to create a box like so and then do this to make sure that it's the correct size and you want to uncheck the lock expect that way then you can create a custom size it's going to be 2.5 great so once that's done let's just go ahead and change the colors of the border and we're going to make that about that size perfect and then we're going to go ahead and create this top header here and it doesn't have to be perfect right now because we will zoom it in and fix it later. And let's go ahead and change the fill color to, let's do a blue one this time. Oh, I forgot to click on it. There we go. Let's make it a blue. There we go. And then I'm not going to fill it with any color so or outline it with any color. And we'll zoom it in later and make it perfect. But for now, this is fine. And then the next thing we're going to do is create a little page checklist. To do that, it's pretty simple. And we can change the fill color. We'll do pink over here. There we go. And then to create that the flag part of it, use this tool to edit points and we are going to just bring that up like that, perfect. I actually made this a little bit too thick so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more and it doesn't have to be quite that long. Perfect. And I'm not going to outline it either. So, Okay, so now the next part to get the heart is pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions on how to get a custom uh, shape in Silhouette, I have a tutorial on that. So you can check that and then come back to this. Otherwise, um, we're going to go right ahead and I'm just going to pull up this shape that I already have. And then all you're going to do is that there and let's actually zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing here and then all you're gonna do is copy and paste paste and usually I do anywhere from five to seven little hearts just because I find that that fits best one two three four five six so six that's fine we'll just do six for now and uh, let's align it and then what I usually end up doing is press shift and hold on to the shift key and then press on um, all of the hearts so we're going to align it get them to align center and to space vertically the same so that looks good now the next thing you're going to want to do is create this line here so we're going to grab the line tool over here and we're just going to eyeball it that looks about right and if you press the shift key 
it will ensure that you get a straight line. And then what I usually do is once I get that straight line, I just copy and paste just to make it easier on me. And then we're going to go ahead and select all of them. Again, using the shift, pressing the shift key down. And then we're going to go over here and one, change it to 1.0. And then change the color to black. And then now we're going to go in and text. So just write out to do. And then a little bit big but let's go ahead and size it down to the right size once you're happy with that then we can now go in and edit to make sure that everything is perfect and there we go. And take your time doing this to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. And zoom in even further if you need to, because this is just a demonstration to show you guys how to do this. I'm not being too careful or anything. Just kind of showing you guys so you guys get the just idea of how to create something like this. And there you have it. That is how you would create the checklist. And once you guys have this simple idea down, you can now create and get more creative and make other uh, style of checklists. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you guys will be notified when I have a new video up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So recently I've had a lot of people asking me questions about how to save a Silhouette Studio file into a PDF. And this is kind of tricky. Uh, so let me show you guys how to do it. So after you're finished designing, let's just pretend this is my finished design. You're going to want to go up here.